Hey mathematicians, welcome to this uh, video on multiplying mixed numbers. Today we're being asked to find the product and the product is the answer or number that you get after you multiply uh, some, some set of numbers. So we're trying to find the product of 3 and 2 fifths and 4 and 1 third. So let me rewrite this statement just so we can see uh, what this is being asked what is being asked of us. So we have 3 and 2 fifths times 4 and 1 third. Now looking at these numbers, 3 and 2 fifths and 4 and 1 third, these are actually mixed numbers. These are mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are numbers that are the sum of a whole number and a fraction. So if they're the sum of a whole number and a fraction, then we can write them as the sum of a whole number and a fraction. So I'll rewrite the statement 3 and 2 fifths as it's 12 o'clock. 3 plus 2 fifths. And I gather you can figure out that I'm recording this video at 12 p.m. noon. Um, so looking at this, uh, three. Sorry about that. Let me. Yes. So we have three and two fifths uh, is being written as three and two fifths, the sum of a whole number and a fraction, multiplied by a, another mixed number, which is the sum of a whole number and a fraction. So we're multiplying it by four and one third. Now, this is the use of the distributive property. Basically what the distributive property says is if I'm multiplying 3 and 2 fifths by 4 and 1 third, then I should multiply both the 3 by the 4 and by the 1 third. So let me demonstrate that. So we're going to multiply the term. So every single term in one, one group of numbers needs to be multiplied by every single term in the other group of numbers. So we're saying 3 times 4, this is the distributive property, and then I'm going to put that together with 3 times 1 third. So if I do that, I get 3 times 4 is 12, And then I'm going to put that together with, so I'm going to add it together with, 3 and 3 times 1 third. 3 times 1 third is 3 thirds, and 3 thirds is 1 whole. So 3 times 1 third is 1. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to multiply the next term by each of the terms in the other group as well. This is an example of the distributive property. We use it all the time in multiplication. And now I'm going to do 2 fifths times 4. 2 fifths times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 what? 8 fifths. So I have 8 fifths. 8 fifths though is can be written as a mixed number because it by definition is the sum of a whole number and a fraction. And the reason why we can do that is because I know that 5 fifths make one whole and there are three more fifths left. So this is one whole and three fifths or if you want to do the division you can say 5 goes into 8 once, 1 times 5 is 5, 8 minus 5 is 3, and you still get the same answer, 1 and 3 fifths. I'm going to put that together with so 2 fifths times 4 is 1 and 3 fifths. And then I'm going to put that together with 2 fifths times 1 third. 2 times 1 is 2 and 5 times 3 is 15. So I have 2 fifteenths. Now looking at it this way, I know that I can only add fractions when they have the same denominator or the same unit fraction. But these don't have the same unit fraction. 
But I can do something to this fraction right here, the 3 fifths, to make the make fifths become fifteenths. I can multiply it by 3. So if I multiply the denominator by 3, I have to multiply the numerator by 3 to make an equivalent fraction. So I'm going to rewrite this as 12 plus 1 plus 1 because I know 1 and 3 fifths is 1 plus 3 fifths. And now I'm going to write the equivalent fraction of 3 fifths so that it has a denominator of 15. So I multiplied 5 by 3, I'll multiply the 3 by 3 to get 9, and now I have 15 ths. So when I add up all of my numbers, I get 12 plus 1 is 13, 13 plus 1 is 14, so I get 14 wholes plus uh, 9 15 ths plus 2 15 ths is 11 15 ths. So the answer to this problem is 14 and 11 fifteenths. That is the product of 3 and 2 fifths and 4 and 1 third. Now, to go through all of this means that you are really demonstrating your knowledge of the distributive property. The distributive property says that each term of a number will multiply each term of another number. And that's what's happening here. 3 times 4 plus 3 times 1 third plus 2 fifths times 4 plus 2 fifths times 1 third. And when I, when I do that, I now see that this is now adding fractions. And so therefore, I'm going to make sure I have the same denominators, and then I'm going to add up my numbers. Now, you're going to notice that this method is going to help you in all of math. It will help you later on when you get to algebra. It will help you um, in all of math. And you've actually been using it for all of your life. Um, but no one's really ever told you that this is called the distributive property. Um, take, for example, this number right here. Say you have 13 times... Uh, let's make the number 21. What you have, what you know about 13, it's made up of 10 plus 3. And what you know about 21 is it's made up of 20 plus 1. So when you actually take these products and multiply each term of one number by each term of another number, So you multiply the 10 by 20, what's 10 times 20? 200, plus 10 times 1, 10, plus, now we're going to multiply the 3 by every term in the other number. 3 times 20 is 60, plus 3 times 1 is 3. When you add it all up, you get 270, this is 70 right here, 3. 273. You've actually been using the distributive property your whole life, um, but now we're giving it a name, okay? So that is how we found the product of 3 and 2 fifths and 4 and 1 third using the distributive property and the meaning of what a mixed number is, because a mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a fraction. Hope you enjoyed. In the next video that I'm going to pr pr present, I'll explain to you how you can look at 3 and 2 fifths and 4 and 1 third and give an approximate estimate of what the answer is going to be so that you can check to see if this answer of 14 and 11 fifteenths actually makes sense. So that will be the next video.